Seven high school football players have died this season from game-related injuries, but they're not the only athletes at risk for a head injury. According to the American Journal of Sports Medicine, concussion rates have more than doubled during the past 10 years. Now, many people want to know what's being done in the world of medicine to curb concussions. Well, tonight, News Channel 9's Rachel Polanski sits down with researchers and athletes in central New York to put head injuries under the microscope. She shoots and she scores. Brittany McGraw Wixon is a sophomore at OCC. She's been playing soccer since she was seven years old. She loves the sport, but she admits it's not all fun in games. I've had three concussions, and they're definitely not fun. You like feel sick and sensitive to light and sound. If there's someone who maybe this device says that they're totally fine. Right now, researchers around the country are working to better manage concussions. They've made progress, but there's a long way to go. Typically, when an athlete gets injured, the assessment is very subjective. So it's all based on how the athlete feels, how, what the athlete tells the doctor, the athletic trainer, whoever is looking at them. Unfortunately, that's not the best way of doing things. It's not the most scientific way of doing things. After about five minutes, then we go on to the next test. Josh Barracks works with BrainScope, a company developing a device to test head injuries more objectively. They're working with researchers at Upstate Medical University, and their subjects are college athletes right here in central New York. Basically, we'd like to test you anytime before Thanksgiving. Athletes are split into two groups, healthy or injured, and they're tested preseason, postseason, and during the season if they get injured. Within 24 to 72 hours of their injury, we test them five days after their injury. We test them the day they return to play, and we test them 45 days after they return to play. The BrainScope device looks like a headband, using electrodes to study brain waves. It detects and records activity and sends that information to a handheld computer device. Is this device able to uh, determine? if someone did receive a serious head injury or if they just got a shot to the head and, and their brain is not injured at all. The headband is still being studied, but Brittany hopes that one day it will be used as a portable device on the sidelines. That would definitely be a lot better. You can't really cheat that as much as you can cheat the test that you have now. Brittany says many athletes hide their concussion symptoms or downplay their injuries so they can stay in the game. She thinks a scientific device could change the way college sports are played. There's a lot of long-term effects of concussions, and some people I don't think still don't take it as seriously, but it's definitely serious. I definitely still have long-term effects of all three of my concussions. The BrainScope study is still underway. Researchers expect to publish their findings next year.